everybody in here sitting out in front of the tiny house having my coffee with all you. I'm sitting right next to this dill. Look at, look at. Mm, it smells so good, but it's so lanky. I should have, I should have been cutting this back a while ago to get it to branch out, but that's okay. It is what it is. Anyhow, um, it is going to be warm again today, but not as bad as yesterday. It's only going to get up to like 88 today, so that means it's going to feel like it's around 98. 100 degrees but it's still not going to be as bad as yesterday so i have the choice of there's so many choices of things i need to get done so i don't know um rocky made it through the night last night and all the chickens are still alive so but he and olive are pecking at the littler chickens pretty bad but that's that's part of chicken life i guess chicken life okay so I have to go get things going. Mm -hmm. Aww, look at them. Rocky and Olive, two little lovebirds sitting under a tree. I think they're just eating though. <laughs> yeah, I think they're both happier. So I think this was a good decision. Aw, look at how cute. Swinging back and forth, chirping happily, pumping back and forth to kind of make the swing go. This one was actually on this swing for a lot longer, but I couldn't capture all of it. <laughs> yep, I got two of them crowing now. You're a mighty mighty rooster, Mr. Rocky. You just need to be a little bit nicer to the little girls. <laughs> I love it. Nope, this is not a Benny Hill skit. <laughs> maybe do a little bit more of this or the rest of it when the sun goes down or starts going down or whatever. Look at me all patriotic. Well, break time is over. <laughs> Too bad. 
yeah, some of the tall stalks, it doesn't take them down. You can approach it from various different sides, uh, and it'll come down eventually, but that doesn't really bother me. It's just getting the taller stuff out, and I think that this little mower did a great job, and Stiney Life did a great job. There's a few spots I may need to go over, but all in all, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little mower. What I've done so far is the front part of the yard. Um, the trees back here and back towards this way I haven't done, but the grass isn't quite as tall. I think what I'm going to do next, maybe not today, is tackle this back part because it is more grown up. As you can see, I've got a lot taller things growing. Uh, I know that this little mower can still do it because it's done it before. So it just depends. You know what? I think I've already decided I'm not going to do this today because it is going to rain before too long here and I can do it tomorrow because I think tomorrow is supposed to be cooler. As I use that mower more frequently, I'm learning that my back is stronger and my shoulders are stronger. So if I push the mower with both my arms straight, then I'm using my back and my shoulders more instead of my arms. Um, you notice when I get tired, I start bending the arms and hunching over even more. But if you just kind of keep a firm stance, then it's not so hard to do. And it's fun. So I'm, I'm kind of stoked about this because I need to be able to mow my own lawn, take care of my own property without anybody's help. So I'm going to do that. Yep, I am going to mow my own lawn all the time now and it makes me feel good for having done it. Um, neighbors were driving by back and forth. They probably thought I was crazy but you know what? One of those little mowers it doesn't take any gas, doesn't take any electricity and it doesn't make any noise really to speak of at all and that's one thing about you know I feel like I live in the country but not quite as country as you know, maybe I would like um, when people mow their lawns. It would be cool if everybody could mow their lawn on the same day. Uh, so we can just have one day of loud noises. Um, but that's not possible. So you get a lot of noise from the, the other kinds of lawnmowers, the gas-powered ones. And it's just all day, constantly, every day. And, you know, I like to hear the birds and stuff like that and plus you're not putting dangerous emissions into the air with one of these little real mowers so you know if you've got a gas powered mower more power to you i wouldn't mind having one actually for just to use every once in a while but i think i'm getting used to this real mower and it's not going to cut it like a you know like a golf course or lawns in the suburbs but I didn't move out here to live on a golf course or in the suburbs. I like the look of wild things to a certain extent. There's a certain areas that I want to have mowed, so I'm going to be able to take care of that myself now, and it's going to be a lot of hard work, but it's going to be good work. So, um, I think before it rains, I might plant some stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, I did plant something. It involved digging a big hole and digging up four other holes, transplanting something, hauling some dirt and water. And I am just, it's too hot for this stuff right now. It just, sometimes I envy some of you who have electricity because you can just go inside and literally chill out in the air conditioning. I don't have that. So I just have to put fans on me and keep wiping my face like this. Oh, this rag is so gross right now. Anyhow, um, I can hardly think straight right now. So I've got something really cold. I've got the Mio Energy. Uh, actually, it's a Mio Sport. It gives you electrolytes and and whatnot. <laughs> After you've, uh, you know, exerted yourself and sweated. So I'll show you what I planted in the next video. And um, you'll just get to see it then. I'm done. I'm not going to do any more filming. Um, I'm actually a little bit dizzy, but I'll be fine. I always am. I'm just a big complainer. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.